today I came and did this show specifically because there's a few people that are in our online academy that had questions about specific drills. So what we do in our online academy is we kind of cater to whatever their needs are because we want them to make sure that they can cross that line with all confidence. So we're going to demonstrate several defensive drills that are some of the most maniacal defensive skill drills known to the game. So first and foremost, our friend David, he wanted to know about certain things. One was the east and west side slip. So we're going to give you a demonstration what the east and west side slip um, entails. One of the things that we learned is how out up in Baltimore, one of the key components was delusion. Um, Coach Soul used to do what we call east side west. So that's a punch that goes from east to west. Oh, hey guys, sorry to interrupt your lesson real quick, but this was important. I wanted to give you some of the background and origin of the East and West Side Punch. Uh, years ago, we were helping Klitschko prepare for his fight against Tony Thompson. So we had two heavyweights, um, John Hagler and the Italian Hitman. So we sent them out there and in that um, preparation for that camp, Coach Soul, which was from Baltimore, took me to the side and showed me this unique punch they throw. And it was the east and west side jab is here, here, to the mid, east and west side. He said, nobody's ever in the same place they are after you hit them. So that began part of our journey with utilizing that. So every story, every punch, every defensive move has a story behind it. Find out yours. Peace. Now back to the video. But one of the key components to that punch was the fact that there's also a slip that I knew really kind of combated that punch. So you want to slip to the east, pop, and you want to use pop your tor torso so you can pivot around if necessary. So you go here and you go here. So if you go here, boom, and the guys know with our drills, our footwork drills, we get you, so remember, take that elbow, come to the mid point of the belly, pop, come right there, boom. And that is your east side, west side slip. And the fluidity of the feet, the rhythms, all of those things start to come together once you start going through your practice, because perfect practice makes perfect. The next skill drill that I'm gonna get into, and these, will uplift your defensive prowess exponentially. This next one is the head pops. Head pops were made famous by the one and only Mike Tyson, and they look like this. Slip, 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 short, pop, boom, 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 boom. And what it does is freezes your opponent. Why? Because he doesn't know which way you're gonna go. When Evander Holyfield fought Mike Tyson, he said, the only reason I felt confident is because he stopped utilizing his head pops. Boom, 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 he only did three. He counted them out every time. They used to be unpredictable. So how he combated that was learn how to do it. But Mike Tyson, when he was in his heyday, he was unstoppable, pop, 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 boom, boom. How does it look? Pop, pop, pop. One, two, three, we do a drill. We walk the floor. to get your neck, head pops. So one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And four, five, six as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can find yourself taking that and navigating over to the other side. Pop, pop, pop. So the hair pops take you a multitude of directions. That's why it's so unpredictable. And what does it usually do? It freezes your opponent in their tracks. Now we're gonna go through what we call the third and final thing, 
was the Bulldog. Bulldog is a series of walking the dog, walking down your prey. This goes in a series. It's in our six week camp, it's in our peekaboo training, and it's in our online academy. So, you just gotta know where to locate. Bulldog. Reservoir is over the top and under, but it's the process of walking down and annihilating your opponent. Bulldog here, shh, staying under the armpit and pivoting around it. No matter where he is, you raking him. Walk him down, one, two, boom. Stay with the power in your legs. One, two, then you can walk to him, or you can grunt walk to him, one, two. As you'll see my fighters stay strong in the trunk, power in the legs, so we can trap. And look. Defensively responsible. And that's one of the key things when you want to walk somebody down, dog, whether it's reservoir or bulldog. These are the key components to annihilate any foe that does not have all his T's crossed and all his I's dotted. Now to learn more about what it is it makes our academy, our online educational school, so unique. Just simply click that link down here, and you can find out more about that. For those who are interested in learning more skills in the Philly Shell, you click over here. The peekaboo style, yeah, you come right there. And if you are struggling in footwork, that link right up there, Execute that. Bloop, bloop.